Well, again, everybody's Plowboy, Plowboy's Ghost Channel. Today I'm going to do something in the house with you, and uh, we're still conserving primers and and whatnot. And I was thinking on the Schofield after watching some videos on YouTube last night of other people's. And we've become accustomed to, and I'm not saying it's a bad idea in most guns that have fixed firing pins to, to load five if you're going to carry the gun, you know, with a hammer down on an empty chamber. Schofield, well... I did some playing around with it, some testing one day, and I got to thinking on it. And this is a little different animal. First of all, I'll show y'all that it's unloaded. All right. If you'll notice, if you can see it very good, the firing pin there on the hammer, it's actually, really can't tell it from this angle, but it's kind of narrow. I mean, I won't say it's it's not flat or nothing by any means, but it's narrower than, than uh, the way that some seem. And it may really not be. But on, on this particular design, this is how this can work. Go put it on half cock, open it up. Now what I've done is I've brought in six empty cases here. Uh, fired cases, so I have to push them in a little bit. I don't remember what, I ain't no telling what gun these were shot out of because I've got so many of the 845 Colt. But they go in really easy. Now what I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say here it doesn't mean that this is for everybody I I don't like to give advice on how or, or pretend to think that I know how everybody should do things because I don't know how everybody's sensibilities are I don't know how what your sensitivities are I don't know how everybody how comfortable everyone is or isn't I don't know how competent everyone or isn't but this is what I'm doing this is well I really haven't been yet but this is what I'm going to start doing Typically, I would load five. I would put it uh, with the empty chamber ahead of where I cock it, come down on an empty chamber, and I would be carrying on an empty. Well, as you saw, I loaded six empties. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn it so that I'm going to have two cases split in the, the upright position. I'm going to close it, knowing that that's real close. I'm barely going to bring the hammer back just a little bit, release it. And now, the hammer is down between two chambers. The firing pin is not resting on a case. It's not resting on a primer. It's in between. And as you can tell, it's locked in between them. Now, I'm, let's bring it back to the half cock position. I'm going to turn it to a different one. So as we can see that it's not just those particular two cartridges at one position. Got it in between. Lower it down between the two. It's locked in there. Now, the, if you were to carry this gun with six loaded, now this is just for the Smith & Wesson pattern. This is the Cimarron Uberti Schofield. If I were to carry this with six loaded, something hit the hammer. Well, this is with it all the way down. This is not in the half cock position. So the cylinder is, you know, locked in there. It can't spin around and, you know, somehow malfunction. And if I were to carry this with six loaded, there is no way in this world that that gun is going to go off accidentally, unintentionally, or negligently. I, I would say that for the Schofield, for the Smith & Wesson pattern, this particular gun anyway, y'all, if, you, if you're if you interested in this all at all, do like I'm doing right here with some empties and test it before you carry it like this. Just to be safe. Don't take Plowboy's word for it. I goof up, but I, you know, if anybody comes up and says, hey, you know, mine won't lock in between there. I'll be the first to tell you. If it don't lock in between the case head, the case rims, and mine does every time I've done it, then you shouldn't do it. Now, I have, you really, you will not see this on camera because I have to get a light on the other side of it to test this. Or maybe, I think I had to try this with a gun open. But when you start, the other concern you would have, of course, is that maybe the bolt wouldn't fully retract out of the notches in the cylinder. When you started pulling it, and there you are between, and you don't want to create a more of a drag line than you have to between there. I'm pretty careful about trying not to get a drag line. Now, it can happen on some, but I got Rugers that it happens to brand new. You can't get around that, but just about. But with uh, single actions, that is. But with uh, this right here, I tested it, and just as soon as before the before the hand starts moving the cylinder at all, the bolt is retracting. So there's no chance of that getting, you know, dragging along in between and 
causing you to have a turn ring. Let's see if I can show you that. With a hammer down, y'all ain't gonna be able to see that, are you? With a hammer, yeah, with a hammer down right there, maybe. Before the hands would have comes up enough. I don't think I can get it where you can see the hand too good. I'll try. Before the hand would come up enough to start moving anything, see right there, the bolt's already retracted into the frame. It did that just as soon as I got it to the half cock, and that's before. See now the hand's coming up. And it would be turning the cylinder. So, y'all, put her on half cock, got it in between, lower it between. She's locked in between. Why can't you carry six safely in a Schofield? I don't see any reason why not. I'll leave it to y'all to decide for yourselves. Don't take my word for it, but that's what I'm doing. I'm showing you it can work. And I'll show you something else. I think most of you who saw my last Schofield... Uh, when I did the shooting test on it, this it wasn't the same gun. It was the Schofield number two. This is number three, and that's when I took this. These are 45 Colt cartridges. My hand loads with Lee 452, 255 RF bullets, loaded into the same. Oh, I forget what to call this brand, but anyway, it'll come to me in a minute. The same speed loader is what I've got had for my Taurus Model 44 six shot and what I've got for my Smith & Wesson 29 six shot. And, of course, hold, still release it. There's your tactical reload. One more time, tactical reload with the Schofield. <laughs> Not that I really care for the modernism, but look, I do carry single actions. Matter of fact, that's mostly what I carry. Okay, got them locked in again. And this, with a Schofield, all right, you can actually overcome some of the arguments against, some of the arguments against carrying a single action for defense. And one would be the, uh, of course, you know, whether you were carrying five or six. Well, you can safely carry six, in my opinion, in this, in this design. And the other would be speed of reloading. Well, we already know the Schofield is going to unload quick on the 45 coat to keep from getting a, a case head or a case rim underneath the extractor. Turn the gun, you know, to the side or over while you're undoing it. It's really easy to do, and you spit all of them out. If you've got it straight up or even partially straight up, you run a risk of getting one stuck under there. It's just the thinner cases, uh, the thinner, uh, smaller case rims or whatever on the 45 coat and the fact that this extractor comes up so far. Anyway, show you once again, much faster this time. Whoa, well look at that. Y'all didn't see that, did you? Oh well, guess what? I didn't practice that. When y'all saw that today on camera, that's the first time I have done it since the video for the last Schofield, and I know that's probably been a year, I guess. I'd have to go back and look. So anyway, you can, in my opinion, in my opinion, you can carry six in this safely. You can use a speed loader for a Model 29 or a Taurus 44 six shot, which will hold. This is HKS Model 29. It will hold 45 coat just fine, holds it securely. And there's you a tactical single action, full capacity. And just hope that seven Indians or, well, I guess... Let's just, I ain't got nothing against Indians. I got something against anybody who's attacking me, but today it's more likely to be... This is for you're hoping that seven commies don't come after you. At least the seventh one is uh, you know, behind the others, and he's not just, he's not uh, scared off or run off by the first six dropping. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later.